What is going on guys, welcome to Gums Videos, my name is Kyle Cooper, and today I'll be reviewing The Nice Guys, a Shane Black film, Shane Black directed Iron Man 3, so let's talk about The Nice Guys, it's a buddy cop movie, buddy cop movie, it's about Ryan Gosling's character and Russell Crowe's character, just basically they're two different PIs, and then, well, you know, Ryan Gosling's character is a real PI, but he sucks at it, and then Russell Crowe's character, he is not a real PI, but he's really good at it, so that's a good, like, you know, little combination, something that we really haven't seen in a buddy cop movie before, and then these guys cross paths, and then they're like, hey, we're working on the same um, case, so let's, like, work together and make some money, and I like that aspect, because I don't like, to see, I'm sick and tired of seeing the whole, I hate you, I hate you, and then they're forced together, like, total opposite, like, paths, and then, it, we've seen it a hundred million times, and it's kind of boring, and then this movie does something completely different, and it takes place 1977, Los Angeles. Basically, they're trying to find out who is killing these porn stars, and who's making the secret film. And it's actually got a pretty good story to it. I was actually, like, enjoying the action, the story, the comedy was all there. And Ryan Gosling's character, his character was so funny. Like, just seeing his reactions to, like, the actual, you know, action, he's never been really engulfed in such a real case because he's like a coward in most ways and then um, Russell Crowe's character he's seen this crap before he kills people he gets the job done and I like seeing that chemistry and they're very similar except for you know one's really good and one's really bad at the job so I like seeing that and this movie's not like gut busting funny but it's got enough laughs where it's a pretty funny movie it's very enjoyable I like the chemistry between the two and Ryan Gosling's daughter her character is amazing, and because like you know when you see the daughter, you're like, oh, she's just like the hip girl, like you know, potty mouth this, potty mouth that, or she's like the total badass, or the other stereotype where she is straight up like a boring extra character just to get younger audiences in, and that's not the case. She's got a fine line of badass and child. Like when she saw Russell Crowe's character about to kill somebody, she's like, stop it, stop it. But she is a badass when it comes to finding clues and stuff like that. So I really did enjoy her character at that point because I want her to be a badass, but not so badass where she's murdering people because that's really unrealistic and I liked seeing that. My only problem with the movie is that I did wish it was a little bit funnier, but that that's just me. I did smile a lot throughout this entire movie. So that's that's a good plus for that. Great action. And there was no... I'm not going to end any spoilers or anything like that. It's not a spoiler review. But Ryan Gosling's character gets no character resolution from, you know, what he's been saying his problem is. Like, you know when they introduce a problem that at the end of the movie, they normally solve it? I don't care if they don't solve it, but then why bring it up? Like, it didn't have any purpose in the story other than saying, oh, that's why I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Uh, that's no. That's the only reason, and I don't care if he's why he's an alcoholic. I just want to see the story progress more, and you know, I just want a little bit more laughs. But the chemistry is amazing; it's perfect. I want to hear your thoughts down below, guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram. My Twitter is Gumps Videos. My Instagram is Gumps underscore Videos. Go follow me there for the latest updates on this channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and more. Later and goodbye.